Okay, so we have a, uh, started out as a TB4 raised head banjo. These fours are extraordinarily rare. And uh, so let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> close-ups of it. Extraordinary banjo. Okay. Fours are very, very rare. To find one in this condition is fairly difficult. So here's what it looks like. You can look at the back. This is original finish. And all the fours that I've seen have a very thin finish on them for some reason. Uh, has original keys. This is a repro neck made by Gibson. All right. Has the original clamshell tailpiece. And if I will, uh, oh, I see what happened there. So this is a case where every part on this banjo is there. And I want to tell you something. Finding chrome parts, if you happen to lose one or break one, is virtually impossible. So to find one that has all the parts is pretty special. All right, so here's what they look like. You'll notice that the sh uh, has the Master Tone label. Okay. Shell. Really, really, really clean shell. Okay. And... Uh, this is uh, 9466, which you can see on the resonator. There we go, 9466, and I'll give you the dash 18, 9466-18. And uh, you'll just have to trust me. We're not going to do the serial number, but 9466-18. So it's, it's matched. Um, and the other thing, I, a lot of the... Uh, well, a lot of the banjos are what are called uh, fat boy banjos, and the rims are just a little bigger. And on the fat, fat boy banjos, the, sometimes the flange will pull up a little bit. So let's look at that. And this is pretty typical, okay? So this flange actually for a fat boy would be considered in actually very, very good condition. Um, we also have the original tenor neck that goes with this banjo um, and I think that's pretty much it if you have any questions you can just call me Jeff Howald at 404-218-8580 you can also uh, come and visit us we've got about 60 banjos so if you want to hear these banjos let us know and also I was going to tell you that uh, we didn't convert this banjo because whoever buys it may want to play it as a raised head. They may want to get a conversion ring, which doesn't alter the shell, or they may want to convert it. It's, but that's going to be up, up to you. It does sound really good as a raised head. So we'll hopefully see you later and come and visit us and spend four or five hours and play over 60 used banjos.